so so major spoiler alert going into season two game two mm-hmm. we're facing a lot of major events but none more so than the death of joel of course does that fit under the category of slavish interpretation or does that feel like something that um you can diverge from i mean i can't tell you anything about that season <laughs> <Old times>. okay <laughs> I'm not saying a goddamn thing. Uh, People will have to wonder. Um, And you know what? Good. Because here's the thing. First of all, I, anytime you're making, anytime you're adapting something where there's source material, there's certainly an expectation that the the adaptation will hit the main source material points. And that is mostly what happens. But the way they happen, I think is what matters how they happen, when they happen, the way they happen. Those are the things that matter. Um, It's why I started Chernobyl with Chernobyl exploding. I was like, I'm not going to make you wait and wonder if it's going to explode. So look, when it comes to the fate of characters, no matter who they are, all I can say is we will do what we want to do in a way that is best for the show that we're making. And we will always be thinking about I think the two perspectives that we have, which is Neil's perspective as a creator and my perspective as a fan. And And yeah. Has that decision, whatever it is in terms of how to treat that event, however you're going to do it, has that been in kind of in stone for a while? Like, can, because I would imagine cynically speaking, a power that B might say your biggest star, you can't kill Pedro in episode three of season two, like can, are there influences at play or do you have creative, do you feel like you have full creative freedom to do what serves this story best? Yeah. Again, I'm not going to even say, I, I don't want to, okay. I question, I question <laughs> your premise. Okay. okay. I question okay. your premise. Okay. Here's the thing, honestly, I, yeah, look, look, I'll answer this question. We know exactly what we're doing. I'll okay. say that. We know exactly what we're going to do, but I question your premise okay. because presumes that we're going to do things and and they shouldn't um that's not to, it's so this is a i can neither confirm nor deny anything that you're saying i'm gonna i, res- I respect that it's all good <laughs> because that because because the articles that will be written uh should the headline should be uh showrunner can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> <laughs> what a juicy headline you're giving me Exactly. No, I get it. I get it totally. I've been in this game a while. I know you're too smart for me. What? Uh, where are you though? Though in the in the process of writing, are you? Have you broken story? Have you started writing scripts? Are you? We we know what we're doing. We have the the next season laid out, and we are writing scripts. And you know, while we're writing scripts, we're also um, beginning quite a bit in parallel. You know, one of the things we these shows are enormous to produce. I, I, I call them aircraft carriers. They're just yeah. massive. So what we do, even as, you know, I'm sitting here working on writing episode, the episode I'm writing on, I won't even say which one. <laughs> um, we still at the same time need to deal with a lot of just practical. So we've already started the scouting process where we start talking about how to, you know, build certain locations and where and how we're going to achieve these things. Casting has that process is beginning. Um, and so we have to do a lot in parallel, but this time, you know, most of what this year is for me, even as we do all these other things to ramp up towards shooting is writing. Um, everything that we do reverts back to the script. The script is the thing that, that we all consult everybody every day, every day, every, whether it's in prep or shooting or even post in post, we're constantly looking back at the script. Well, Hey, remember what it was supposed to be? Why don't we do that? (laughs) 